Once upon a time in the small town of Pueblo Bonito, there was a little boy named Miguel. Miguel was not your ordinary boy. He possessed a rather peculiar trait. That's right, Miguel was a flatulent boy. Unlike others, his flatulence was not a rare occurrence. It seemed to happen much more often than it should, which earned him the nickname El Niño Flatulento, the flatulent boy. Miguel was a friendly and joyous youth, known for his wide, infectious grin. He loved playing soccer with his friends and exploring the town's dirt roads. Except his innocent mischief was often accompanied by his uninvited friend, Flatulence. His peculiar trait made him the centre of many jokes. Some children would find it funny and laugh along with him, while others would tease him and make him feel uneasy. However, Miguel was never one to let this dampen his spirit. Miguel's mother, Doña Maria, constantly searched for remedies to help her son. She tried everything, from ancient family recipes to the new age solutions suggested by the town's doctor, but nothing seemed to help Miguel. One day, while Miguel and his friends were playing soccer near the old church, a new family arrived in town. They had moved from a distant city and were carrying their belongings in an old horse cart. Among the newcomers, there was a girl around Miguel's age named Clara. Miguel couldn't help but notice the ebony-haired girl with sparkling green eyes. Despite his usual jovial nature, he felt a strange shyness creeping upon him. As days passed, Clara began joining the children's soccer games. She was a swift runner and a good sport. Miguel loved her lively spirit, and they soon became friends. However, his flatulence problem remained a constant worry for him. One day, Miguel felt his stomach rumbling during a game. He feared the inevitable and tried to move away from the crowd. But just as he was about to score a goal, it happened. His trouble struck again. Plumes of fragrant air twirled around Miguel, leading to a mix of laughter and coughs. Faces turned red, both in amusement and embarrassment. However, amid all the giggles and finger-pointing, Clara remained impassive. She did not utter a single jest, nor did she distance herself from Miguel. Instead, she patted his back and said, Don't worry, Miguel. We all have something unusual about us. It makes us unique, right? Miguel was taken aback by Clara's kindness. No one had ever addressed his issue like that before. It was always either a matter of embarrassment or laughter. That day, Miguel felt a profound respect and fondness for Clara. Inspired by Clara's perspective, Miguel started seeing his peculiar trait in a new light. It was indeed something that distinguished him from others. He began to laugh along with his friends and stopped feeling self-conscious. Meanwhile, Doña Maria hadn't given up. She was determined to find a solution for her son's problem. A visiting healer gave her a rare plant from the deep forest, claiming it had magical properties to cure any ailment. Doña Maria brewed a tea from the plant and gave it to Miguel. The next few days, Miguel seemed to be doing much better. The frequency of his flatulent episodes notably decreased, and he was overjoyed. With the solution seemingly found, Miguel's life returned to normal. He continued enjoying his days with friends, playing soccer and exploring Pueblo Bonito. His friendship with Clara blossomed and they became inseparable. However, his flatulence hadn't completely disappeared. It occurred less frequently, but at times when least expected. Miguel had learned to accept it as a part of him and often joked about it, diffusing the tension. Gradually, everyone in Pueblo Bonito grew accustomed to El Niño Flatulento. His trait was seen more as a harmless quirk rather than a nuisance. Even the taunts and jokes lessened, and Miguel was simply seen as Miguel. Years passed, and the children of Pueblo Bonito grew. Clara and Miguel's bond grew stronger with time. His unique trait that once isolated him had brought him a truly understanding friend. In return, Miguel's generous nature and infectious laughter had a profound impact on Pueblo Bonito. 
He reminded everyone to remain positive and to not let their shortcomings define them, but rather to celebrate them. Eventually, what started as a problem turned into a lifelong lesson for the people of Pueblo Bonito. Everyone learned to accept and love Miguel just as he was, including Miguel himself. Miguel's story was no longer about the boy with unstoppable flatulence. It was about a boy who taught a whole town to love themselves despite their quirks and to find humour in life's unpredictability. Today, if you visit Pueblo Bonito, you'll hear tales of El Niño Flatulento, not as a joke or as an embarrassment, but as an inspirational tale about acceptance, good humour and friendship. This tale reminds us all that it is our unique traits that make us who we are. Just like Miguel, we all have something that sets us apart. And instead of being embarrassed about it, we should be proud of it. So here's to Miguel, the boy who taught us all to laugh a little louder, love a little harder and live a little better. Here's to El Niño Flatulento, the flatulent boy, the beloved friend, the heart of Pueblo.